Yo YouTube everyone welcome back to the channel today I've got a very special video I'm going to be showing you how to fry how to outslay your opponents in rank play This is a crimson lobby we're going to be showing you how to slay in crimson Make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already And let's get right into the breakdown Starting off at P1 what we're going to try to do is try to get as much map control as possible Our main objective is to push out lanes and slay as an SMG No matter the lobby no matter how good our opponents are We're going to be trying to outslay them and absolutely frying Let's show you how it's done We take out the first player now what we can do is go around the corner, we aim to the second guy, and what we do is as we pre-aim and we aim for his head because we knew he was in the left corner. Now, looking at the minimap, looking at the spawns, my teammate did die on um, paper, so what we can do is we're going to back up and play this PD area. I'm trying to watch his left-hand side, and you can see right here, we're going to push through this left and basically try breaking spawns for P2. So what we want for P2 is we want to break through the back side of this map here. On my teammate, wrap front all the way through the back, I'm going to go through this back door here. I managed to take out the first guy. You can see, as I'm going around corners, you can see I'm very carefully pre-aiming. I'm trying to jump and trying to play my life as well as possible. Here, maybe a good idea to get on the hill, but we're just going to wait and see how it goes. My teammate gets on the hill, and now it's time to cut the lanes. I'm going to be watching the mini map, watching the middle, and just like that, we take out the first guy. And now, again, trying to run run around here, just see if I can take out an opponent or two. So, we managed to get the first guy. This guy does get some good timing. He does come behind me and takes me out. But not a problem. We're going to see what we can do here. Looking where we spawn, we spawn on the other side of the map here. The reason why we broke there was because all three of us lost our gunfights at crucial time and crucial positions there. So, even if one of us held the gunfights, I think we would have got that kill right there. I actually got the start off. I'm going to go around. Use my momentum for me and we managed to get that kill. Reload, take my time here. Just going to back off because I'm one shot. As my teammate goes through the back here, he gets a huge two piece. I'm going to go through the front here and now I'm just going to try watching the lane straight away. You can see 22 seconds. My teammate's got control of old hardpoint. So, what I'm going to do is worry about the rotation. So many of the comments ask me, when should I rotate? You know, is there a specific time? For me, there's not really a specific time. It depends on the scenario, it depends on the situation. You can see right there, as my teammates had control of the old hard point, there's not really a need for me to sit there and play, play my life. Instead, I've rotated. I chuck a stun, uh, Semtex on the door there just to kind of distract the opponents. I get a slide off. Unfortunately, I was a second too late there. Maybe if I jumped around the corner, I could have got that kill, but not to worry. We're basically breaking even here and we're spawning very close to the hard point so this is perfect for us we're going to go through i'm going to use my equipment here again as i always mention if there's a trophy system on the hill make sure to chuck your stuns chuck your equipment and try to take that trophy out just so your teammates can go around and take it out as well so as we go through here we're going to prone and just see if we can get the first guy we did get a shot from someone i'm trying to use my sound cue to see if anyone's going to push us i'm at 35 seconds left i don't want to waste my life here go up the ladder so instead i'm going to go through orange try play a tight corner and see if i can get a kill or two we're going to go around here what i like to do here is i like to jump around the corner and that's exactly how i like like to do it 99 percent of the time if someone's sitting on the hill there they're going to be tucked in in that little corner so what you want to do is as you go around you want to make sure you jump and use your momentum oh, to your advantage again 15 seconds after my teammates on the hill it's time for the rotation we're going to go through here and you can see i'm already centering towards kind of the middle where i expect my opponents to be we popped a dead silence here we're going to go around the corner we take our time we get one we're going to jump over the door the reason why we're jumping over the door there is because we don't want to get shot on our way we're going to go through the back end we try not to like give up any like any cover we try not to let them know where we're coming from so me jumping over the door there just allows me to get to the back without being seen we see a guy here we take out the first guy and we go in that's just so unfortunate the lag wasn't on our side that the connection got us screwed up there but that's really well played from the rest of the team i mean ideally right there what we do is we go through the back we take out that first guy we knew exactly where the second guy was going to be and we managed to take him out but even unconditionally like watching this game back i can already sell that we we push the spawns a lot with an smg and it's something you guys should be doing is trying to play for spawns there was a really good opportunity as i chucked the grenade i knew that there wasn't a trophy system there so i just kept on shooting trying to let mp himself i maybe could have played my life for a second longer because a grenade didn't end up killing him but hey again 22 seconds and this is a golden marker for me about that 20 second mark is where oh, i normally start to rotate right now the reason why i didn't rotate is because i actually heard someone there but ideally i probably should have started rotating there so you see how i waited maybe five ten seconds that little hesitation i shouldn't have done that and i think i actually need this gunfight okay perfect example perfect scenario first few hard points you see 22 seconds my team set up i start to rotate you see what i did now i actually waited maybe another five seconds and those five seconds were so crucial and it actually allows for our opponent to set up and potentially get back into the game so looking there that was my mistake and i can make sure i kind of adjust that for next time first three hard points i did a really good job rotating but the fourth one not so much but that's all right we're going to go through now and see if we can break it again using my stun and now we've got a stun off what it means is they're going to be distracted at the back we're going to go through the back here and we're going to get two our teammate gets two our, our teammate gets one and now we're in a really good spot so as my teammates went through the front i chucked a stun through the front of the hill and instead of going through there with them i went through the back and it just allowed us to get a really good pinch on so doing a really good job now going through again what we're going to do is take out the first guy but we get unlucky there he is one to our grenade does get the trade off for us so we get our own trades there just like that we're up by 15 points and now we're spawning
falling at the back. So, oh, again, I'm trying on, to go for the old hill here. Freak. Not not too much of a bad play, depending on the nice. scenario. So, as I mentioned about rotating, Shit. on this P1 hill, you don't really need to rotate in terms of going to the hard point and setting up early. It's a bit more about having control around the minimap, especially for this P1 hill. So, I'm just trying to play my life here with an SMG and see if I can take out some players and basically spawn them in the tennis court area. If we can spawn them back tennis court, it'll be perfect. But right now, what we want to do is we want to get control of this PD building. You see here, my teammates on top with an AR. What I'm going to do is I'm going to double up a security here and I'm going to try locking down the bottom lane with an SMG. My teammate goes huge with a three-piece. So now it's just about where they spawn. I'm expecting them to spawn back tennis court. You see this area on my left is tennis court. That's where I'm expecting them to spawn. So as I go around the corner, I'm making sure to hold my hold my angles, hold my pre-aim. We single fire the first guy. We take him out. And now it's about going through orange. I pop the dead silence. The reason why I always pop the dead silence in that area when I'm running through is because I actually want to see if I can get the kill while hip firing with a dead silence because it's so broken right now, that little mechanic when you're popping your dead silence. So I like to pop it in tight angles because it means that if I do go for a hit by a kill, I'll probably get the kill. We get really good lucky timing there. We managed to take out one and now it's our time for rotation again. Oh, let's see how we take this gunfight. I mean, we just absolutely fried in there. We dive off. We're feeling absolutely cracked now, feeling ourselves and going into this P2 rotation. My team's all pushing through uh, the department here through PD. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go through the front, use my equipment. We managed to stun ourselves. Absolutely you. crack gameplay right now. This is why I'm in Crimson, boys. If you don't stun yourself, then you're not playing one it right. I'm going to go through here. I actually backed off here, but my teammate got the trade. So what we're going to do is kind of play our life. we still got a grenade to work with. As I'm one shot, I'm just going to back off here, play the top angle because I want to try play my life on these stairs. As long as I'm on these stairs, they're a bit worried about this side door. So I don't necessarily have to make That's a play there. right now. I'm kind of waiting for my teammates. But as you see, I go for the oh, duke here. I go through it, and that's just terrible time right there it was a bit of a difficult situation Man, looking like back at so. it i maybe could have gone a bit early and just committed for it but again i think i played it pretty well waiting for my team right there and you know I when you're playing, playing uh, like players that are really good and like similar to yourself and you're at a similar ball. level you're not going to win every single gunfight but let's really see how i approach this 1v2 good. situation so as i go through here i manage to spot the first guy let's see what i do here i get a really good angle i take out the first guy and i almost take out the second but someone came up the ladder but something i want to highlight there is my use of equipment i think that was a really good use of equipment there because i basically blocked the stairs so as i went up the stairs i chucked a start i chucked a grenade and those are some really good shots there sometimes you're afraid don't be afraid with an smg to go for those long shots man even if you get one or two bullets it'll just help your teammates out in the gunfight we managed to kind of watch this corridor and what i'm trying to do now is i'm trying to watch the pinch here i make sure i commit to this gunfight because he's one shot i chuck a grenade and straight away i run away i'm not going to waste my time on that one and now again i'm gonna see if i can go around the corner i go for the jump shot and you've seen it for the second time now i wanted to right there what i wanted to do is get into cover and basically snake that head glitch and i thought i feel like that would have allowed me to get another two or three kills but looking at the scoreboard we're up by about 21 seconds they seem to be getting all the kills here but this is good good opportunity to break the hill we get one and again i see the other guy go through we managed to take him out with a knife and straight away you see me back off here with 30 seconds left what i wanted to do here was kind of back off and hold middle because i saw my teammate was in the hill but unfortunately my teammate did die he lost his crucial 1v1 and the other teammate came through palm trees and pinched me so just like that the opponent did a good job but luckily for me due to the spawns not being very good in this game we've actually managed to spawn at the back still with 15 seconds left, what we're going to want to do here is we're going to go around. We're going to see if we can make a play and hold this top of this spawn here. We're top PD. We're just trying not to die here. We're trying to play our life and make sure we're being a nuisance. I see the guy at the back here. I mean, he just got a really good angle on me. I didn't expect him to be there, so fair play to him. He had an AR. He had it lined up. My teammate gets two. And what we're doing straight away, we're getting the knife out. We're rushing to the back. And you can see what we're trying to do. We're trying to cut off the angles. I see the guy coming from the back. So I'm just going to hold it. I know he's on the right. So what I'm going to do now, jump out, challenge him. You see, we take out the first guy. And now my teammate did come that they were coming from the right. So what I'm going to do now is kind of back off, watch the back. And as I chuck a stun on the back, you notice how I switch to the right. I use my grenade and I'm just trying to back off and make them come to me. A great grenade there. I feel like we use our grenades really well this map and our stuns. I think we do that quite a lot on this channel. I think we use our equipment quite well. If you guys want me to do a separate breakdown, let me know. And I'll show you exactly how to use your stuns and equipment in a bit more detail. But right there with 25 seconds left, we're basically going around. My teammates on the hill and this is where we start to rotate. We see one guy here. We're going to go around. We have a dead silence. See if we can take him out there. I actually spotted an enemy on the left. I don't think I spotted him in the real time, but that's fine again 20 seconds left this is time to rotate and get set up on the next hard point this is quite a hard point to hold generally sorry not to hold to break actually i feel like once you have it you get it's quite a good hold to have so we're gonna see if we can go around and i use my grenade there that's an unfortunate it was a good trophy system from my opponent that's definitely where you want the trophy system i find so many times on a chuck a stun and a nade there there's not a trophy system set up there so good from the opponent right, and you can see back. we have four down so let's see how we approach this we take out the first guy we're gonna jump through here and what we're trying to do is now we've got the first guy we're gonna see if we can get maybe one or two more here so again 
again, I knew there was a trophy there, but the reason why I trapped the grenade anyways is just to try wear that trophy down because what that means is my teammates will come through. And you see, again, I'm aiming for that trophy system because once there's no trophy there, it's a lot easier to enter the hill. So, bit of advice there. You guys see a trophy, make sure to take it out. And just another note here, you can see how they've done such a good job. And I kind of regret not going through the back earlier here. What I should have done, I should have done what I'm doing now. I'm going through the back. Let's see if we win this gunfight. I mean, that's just a terrible gunfight to lose from my opponent. We're going to go through here and we do get bad timing again. Just kind of a mismatch there. My teammates did die, but they managed to get about 45 seconds of that hill. So it just shows how important rotations are. And on this specific hill, especially on this one, man, you just really can't break it. But we managed to get a two piece. And I think that's going to be massive for the game right there because those eight seconds are really crucial. If we didn't get them, this is now a 210 to 230 game. But this is all right. We're only down by seven points. What we're going to do is we're going to go back here. We're going to try to put a lot of pressure on this PD. And now looking at this scenario, it's a very specific situation here. What you don't want to do is you don't, you don't want to give up too much time. But at the same time, you don't want to contest too much because you want to play for this kind of PD area. So what I'm doing is I'm just banking on my teammates to get on the hill. Again, this is a rough hill to get on. So I'm not too worried if they don't really get it. There's still two minutes left on the clock here. So if we can keep this contested or off the hill, I'm not too worried. But the main objective is to keep them off the hill. I don't even care if we get it, but we just have to keep them off. We got absolutely huge here. We managed to get a bloodthirsty. We get the cruise missile and we're feeding ourselves here. 230 to 225. We've done such a good job of locking down this PD area. And because I got the deadly pop, what I'm trying to do is watch the top. I know they're going to be spawning here. Absolutely. We try to get a different angle and I know they're starting to panic. I can see in their gameplay, they're not playing very well. They're playing very rushy. You see right here, we backed off, get into a good angle and we just done such a good job. We turn around, our teammate gets okay and now with 10 seconds left for the victory, we're going to back off straight away. Yeah, you see yeah. we're playing with a lot more like aggression here. I really like the way we're playing right now towards the end of this game. 247 and see what bit, I did. Yeah. I've come to my teammate right now, watch the back. So he turned around, he watched the back, I watched the side and just like that, we managed nice, to get the win. Carried. We had two teammates, one got 15, one got 18 kills and the other guy got 29 kills. So that's how you slay in Crimson. That's how you keep composed and you win the game. Hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, drop a like and I'll catch you guys on the next one.